Hello dear students I hope you all are doing well and you all are well prepared for your upcoming annual examination So today in this video we are going to discuss your English revision sheet So firstly we have section A that is reading and you have to read the passage carefully Here I am reading out the passage for you So listen properly children In Japan tea is called ocha between 1185 and 1333 a japanese priest called isai introduced tea seeds into the country these have flourished into the tea bushes grown in japan today the japanese tea ceremony is a unique tradition it is called sado or chanayo and is a part of country's culture The tea ceremony is actually taught at a number of tea schools in Japan. Learning about the tea ceremony is still considered an important part of the education of young girls in Japan. The tea ceremony called chaji is usually held in chashistu or tea room. Tea room. In earlier days, tea rooms were small buildings set in peaceful corners of tradition garden. These tea rooms exist today in parks or castles or temple gardens. A good example is the Shoken Tea Tea House at the Katsura Detached Palace in Kyoto. The first tea room was called the Temple of the Silver Pavilion. Several special utensils are used during the tea ceremony. The cha ari is a ceramic container used for the powdered tea the kama is the kettle used for boiling water over the charcoal fire the chopsticks made of cedar wood used for eating the simple meal served with tea are called hashi and the tea bowls are known as chawan koicha the thick tea is served first and then later usucha The thin tea is poured into the chawan. During the course of the ceremony, a light meal or kaiseki and higashi or dry sweets are also served. Now children, you have to answer the questions that follow. Fine. The first question is who introduced tea seeds into the country? And the answer is a Japanese priest called Isai introduced the tea seeds into the country. What is tea ceremony called and where it is held? The answer is the tea ceremony called chaji is usually held in a chashistu or tea room. Next you have to find the synonym of the word from the given passage. The synonym of the word function is ceremony next you have to find the antonym of the word from the given passage the antonym of the word freezing is boiling now children you have to complete the sentence which starts from the tea rooms were now you have to find out the sentence and you have to complete it by writing small buildings set in peaceful corners of traditional garden all right and with this we move on to the next section that is section b your writing now here children you are neha or nathik student of class 11th of adarsh public school kanpur while coming to school you got a black color geometry box in the playground write a notice to put up on the notice board to inform all the students about the geometry box and how the owner can receive it from you now students as we know that we have to make a box and we have to write down the heading as adarsh public school comma kanpur then you have to leave a line and you have to mention the date and in the same line you have to write down notice in the block letters next you are going to leave a line again and you are going to write found in block letters then you are going to start the content or the body of the notice by writing this is to inform all the students that the geometry box has been found in the playground 
the owner must identify and collect it from the undersigned between 1 pm to 3 pm and next you will leave a line again and you will sign in as neha if you are a girl or netik if you are a boy right student now this is how we have to write down the notice next we move on to section c that is grammar here you have to fill in the blank with the suitable conjunction so i was ill so i didn't go to work all right you should get your license renewed at once or pay a fine i am very tired because i have been working all day preeti worked hard and topped the class i waited for him but he did not come next you have to rewrite the following sentences with appropriate punctuation marks now children here you have to keep it in mind that the beginning letter of the sentence has to be in the capital letter and it has to end with either a full stop or a question mark or if there is an exclamation mark then you have to insert the exclamation mark as per the sentences all right so i'm reading out the sentences for you like what time is the basketball game now you have to write down it in capital letter you have to start the sentence in the capital letter and you have to end this sentence with a question mark because it is an interrogative sentence so we write down as what time is the basketball game the next question is no i am not coming now as we know so we have to put a comma after yes or no so we'll insert a comma after no and i will be in capital letter and then it has to end with a full stop right what a lovely smile your sister has now children since it is an exclamatory sentence we have to end this sentence as by inserting the exclamation mark the next question is congratulations you finally got your master's degree now here also you have to insert the exclamation mark because congratulation is a uh, is a word of strong feeling so you'll insert the exclamation mark after congratulations you finally got your master's degree did you go with her and then you are going to write down d in capital and you have to end the sentence with a question mark next we move on to section d that is your literature children here you have to write down the meaning of the following words and the first word is cozy which means warm and comfortable the next word is mate which means an officer on a merchant ship next you have to write down write true and false against the following sentences and the first sentence is the narrator did not survive the storm it is a false sentence because he survived the storm right the next question is the kitten was purring and wanted to curl up on the poet's lap and it is a true sentence read the following extract and answer the questions that follow it wouldn't be right to prevent her from getting her afternoon nap now related to the above extract you have to answer these questions and the first question is who does her refer to in the above lines now the answer is the word her refers to the poet's kitten in the above lines the next question is which part of speech has the word prevent been used as the answer is the word prevent has been used as a verb moving on to the next set of questions here you have to answer the following questions after escaping from the stormy sea the narrator was again worried what was he worried about now and the answer to this question is the narrator was worried because he did not have any dry clothes or anything to eat or drink 
He was afraid he would either die of hunger or be eaten by wild beasts. He had no weapon to hunt or kill an animal and he had only three possessions. Next question is, how did the narrator prepare himself for the night? The answer is, in preparation for the night, the narrator climbed up a tree and placed himself so that he would not fall while asleep. He also cut himself a short stick like a club for defense. Now students, with this last question, we come to an end of the discussion of your revision sheet. I hope each and everything is very clear to all of you and you are going to attempt your annual examination final paper properly and very carefully. Keep it in mind that you have to attempt all the questions, write very neatly, do not scribble or do not overwrite on your answer sheets. All right. I wish you all the luck. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.